All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, I know I've said this time and time again, but damn it, Call of Duty needs to stop coming out with new games every year. The games are never finished, they're broken. Nobody wants to start a relationship, a broken relationship with a game, only to have it bloom at the end of its life cycle, and you're ready to move on to the next broken game. It's just so stupid, but they keep selling out every year. Best-selling game 12 years in a row. I can't understand it. There's so many other cool games out there, like this one. Today's video is sponsored by Battle Legion. It's a mass battle strategy game on Android and iOS with 100 versus 100 unit player versus player battles. Design your army layout and watch the battle automatically unfold. Battle Legions has a lot of units with some funny and unique mechanics, all customizable with skins and power stones. Battle Legions also has multiple game modes, a PvP mode, skirmish puzzles, bounty hunt, mini missions, and even epic clan battles. New game modes, units, and ranks are coming, and the game has a very active Discord and weekly streams on YouTube. And you guys gotta check out Battle Legion's new major update, the Clan Raids. You and your entire clan work together to beat epic bosses. If you guys wanna get in on this epic Battle Legion action, be sure to click the link down in the description and let the battles begin. Now that game looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it, fellas? It looks like just mindless fun, bro. And that's what I like about gaming. Gaming, I just like mindless fun. And I'm not really getting a lot of mindless fun here on Call of Duty. I'm getting a lot of mindless frustration. And I know you guys are too. Now, fellas, uh, I don't know why this shotgun takes two blasts at such close range, man. I, I, I really don't. I got to get rid of this shotgun. I need that striker shotgun cheese, fellas. I'm still trying to unlock it. But, man, th that shotgun is trash. Unless I'm just using the wrong attachments. And that's a rare occasion where I seen a sniper glint and didn't die. <laughs> oh, man, these lobbies are fantastic. Oh, making a second account was the best thing I've ever done. Lots of other people are doing it too, even the homie Blame Truth. Ooh, got a one-shot kill right there. Uh, the homie Blame Truth made a second account. He finally smartened up and joined the party, man. Yo, stop playing on your... If you're a good player and you're tired of playing in free tournaments, stop playing on your primary account, fellas. Go make a second account. It's free. Just go make another account. You, I think if you get like a free trial for six months when you make a new account or something. You could just make it on the same PS4 or PS5. You don't even need to go out and, and like buy another... Uh, uh, PS whatever or an Xbox Gold or whatever. I know Xbox Gold was almost trying to uh, raise the price, but they quickly backpedaled on that. We're like, yo, everyone's going to jump ship to PS5 if we raise the price. All right, now check it out, fellas. So I call in the harp, or at least I thought I did. You, you guys see any? I opened up a bag of chips, but the bag of chips is empty. Y'all see any Dorito chips? I see Cool Ranch. Where's the spicy red nacho chip? I I'm checking the screen right now. I'm like, yo, did everybody leave? What? Where is everybody? There's, there's no chip. Look, I'm getting harp assist kills, but there's no harp. There's no visa. <laughs> That's why I said, man. They need to stop coming out with new COD games every year. Look at this. I mean, what what is happening here? I called in an invisible visa and like, nobody can see it. Oh my god, bro. First time I've ever seen the visa. <laughs> I've seen a lot of messed up things happen to the visa. I mean, I've seen it get air patrolled out the sky, counter spy plane, but it, it just didn't show up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, man, what a broken game, bro. I mean, I know they made it in a pandemic. I know the game was rushed, yada, yada, yada. But come on, man. This is embarrassing, bro. This is embarrassing. Get your ish together, Call of Duty. I mean, can't you just copy and paste the VSAT code from previous games? How does how do these things get messed up all the time, man? It's not even like some new score streak that they're trying to figure out. It's the VSAT. It's been around since Black Ops 1. Yo, bro, back in Black Ops 1, I called in thousands of VSATs. Uh, Blackbirds. Not one time did it not show up. <laughs> Black Ops 2. I called in uh, probably thousands of Black Ops 2. Not one time did the VSAT not show up. I mean, every COD game, well, except for Black Ops 4. No VSAT in Black Ops 4, man. Treyarch, what, what were you thinking on that one? <laughs> no VSAT in Black Ops 4 because of the recon specialist. At least that's the excuse they gave. <laughs> Hey, y'all, that's why I said at the beginning of this video, fellas, stop coming out with new COD games every year, man, because they're not ready. But as long as everybody's buying them, I mean, why should they? Why should they actually take their time and wait, you know, two or three years to release a game? Because they can release broken, unfinished games all the time, and people will still buy it. They won't even think twice. Uh, listen, like I said, I can understand messing up new mechanics, but how do you mess up 
a, a, a VSAT. Like, bro, it's been in the game forever. <laughs> anyway, man, funny little, funny little clip. Had to share. Uh, yeah, really. I mean, dude, imagine if I was like one off the nuke and I needed that VSAT. Imagine if I was like, oh yeah, I just need a few more kills. Let me call in the harp. And I could get my nuke, and then you call it in, and there's just nothing. You, you don't see anything on the screen. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I don't go for nukes, guys. Even in these lobbies, man, I don't even bother. It's just, if it happens, it happens, man. But I'm not going to come out here and, like, actually try and get it because the game's too broken. It's COD. It's Call of Duty. Anything can happen out here. It's just, it ain't even worth the frustration, man. So, I don't know if that's like some kind of new glitch or whatever, but has that happened to any of you guys? Have any of you guys ever called in a harp and it just didn't show up on the screen? <laughs> I mean, it didn't show up at all. It's so bizarre. I was getting assist points from it, but it just it, it just wasn't there. Un unless my eyesight has really gotten bad and it was there and I just didn't see it. Did any of you guys see any red triangles? Because I didn't, man. <laughs> Anyway, guys, there's always something with these Treyarch COD games, man, you know what I'm saying? But like I always say, Treyarch Call of Duty games have a way of growing on people. They're going to release more content. We're going to get used to the game a little more. I, I don't know if people are even still playing this game, man, because they just brought Shoot the Ship playlist back in Modern Warfare 2019. Hey, yo, I'm telling you, man, I bet you there's more people on Modern Warfare 2019 right now than this game. Think about it. Modern Warfare 2019, at least you got a, a finished product. At, at least the game is <laughs> at least you got a finished product at least the game has been completed it's been out for over a year so that means it's it's finally done uh black ops cold war it's uh it's not done yet man it's a work in progress so i don't know if people are still gonna play modern warfare 2019 for another year and then come over to this game when it's uh <laughs> when the next cod comes out advanced warfare 2 i'm gonna call it right now even though such hammer games has made vast improvements Advanced Warfare 2 probably going to be a disaster, okay? It's probably going to be trash. No one's going to like it. And then we'll be back on Cold War. Cold War Year 2 is going to be lit. I'm calling it right now. Cold War Year 1, not everybody's feeling it. But Cold War Year 2 is going to be lit, people. I'm telling you, man. I, I, <laughs> just like right now, I bet you there's more people on Modern Warfare 2019 than this game. Because people want to play a finished game. They don't want to play a broken game with glitches. Uh, they call in VSATs and no VSAT shows up. Anyway, guys, what do you think about all this foolishness? Drop it down in the comment section. I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Believe me, I do. And I'll see you on the next one.